All right, Ken, you mentioned that you've got some devices that Panasonic makes that helps with keeping air fresh in the house. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? So, so we do an ERV, or energy recovery ventilation strategy. Um, some will call it an enthalpic recovery ventilation strategy. And what it does is it takes outside air, it brings the outside air, runs through a core exchanger where the two air streams uh, where, and it's injected into the house, and then this one comes out of the house, runs through this side, and it's pushed out of the house. So the two airstreams pass, but never touch. The material between the two airstreams is like a, like a Gore-Tex material, where it'll allow the, the grains of moisture to pass through, and moisture will hold on to the temperature. It's a better um, medium to, to pass temperature through than just air. Uh, but it also balances humidity from inside to outside. So if you're high humidity inside, which in, in the reality is in most of America, humidity is generated more from the inside than it is on the outside. So this will balance humidity. Um, if you live in a real dry climate, that's real important because you, you know, if you get below 30%, your floors can crack up, your coverage can can crack. Your as a human, you know, our eyes dry out and nose sinuses get all chafed. So this will balance humidity, which is a very nice indoor air quality. This device will go from 10, 20, 30, or 40 CFM of balanced tempered air. Um, so the ASHRAE standard is about 30 CFM per thousand square feet. So in this case, I can do almost a thousand square foot in a central room area and, and have tempered air being brought in rather than just cold air from the outside. So this is our IntelliBalance ERV. The IntelliBalance, I have 10, 20, 30, 40. The IntelliBalance will go 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So again, uh, 3,000 square feet is going to require about 90 CFM continuous. I can do that with the IntelliBalance pretty easily. Um, DC motors up here, this runs at about 54 watts, which is pretty remarkable, uh, pretty low energy. Um, again, supply air is going to come through here. It's going to go through a core exchanger and be exhausted out in the house. The exhaust air from the house is going to come through here and drive it out of the house here. This device is about 80% efficient. And just to be clear on what that means, that means if your house is at 70 degrees inside and your outdoor temperature is 50 degrees, you've got a 20 degree difference, 20 degree delta. So 80% efficient means I'm going to recapture 16 degrees, eight times two, 16 degrees, and I'll only have to use my heat system in my house to recapture that four degrees to go to be at demand temperature. So it, it becomes a nice efficient little application. And uh, super quiet, this would actually go in a mechanical room or an enclosed space. This one is actually a ceiling mount. Um, and I do a ton of these in that multifamily footprint where you're running these little micro. So if you have an ADU or a mother-in-law house or something to that effect. Or, and I also do these in basements, uh, media rooms, you know, where you don't have windows. So you put that in a media room, now I can move people in and out of there and I have fresh air. Now you mentioned that this is very good for a dry climate because you, you generate a lot of moisture inside the house. Now, if you're in a wet climate, does it have a moisture sensor so you're not bringing too much humidity in? No, no, typically what's going to happen, as long as the unit is running, it's going to balance. So, and then obviously the, the wet communities that we're referring to is sometimes along the southern coastline where it's hot, wet, and most of those will have air conditioning, and the air conditioning will, of course, strip that moisture out. So you're, um, you're taking that moisture out through your air conditioning, hopefully. Um, so, but... Uh, it still works out pretty well, actually. Um, it's not, well, well, fresh air is good. Problem. Fresh air is good. Fresh so air is good. always good. Exactly right. So. Okay. Well, thank you, Ken. Is there anything else in 2020 that we need to be talking about? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll throw one other caveat on here. Anytime you bring supplier into a house, we're code mandated to have a filter system. One of the things I've been really advocating for my builders is on the supply side that they do a filter box because while I do provide a filter, it's a unique size filter, I can do a filter box and now I can put a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 filter in there, making the fan even run easier, but it also allows the homeowner to choose between a MERV 6, MERV 8, MERV 10, a HEPA, charcoal filter, anything along those lines, and it gives the homeowner the ability to manage their own filtration rather than trying to get something from me or whatever that, and, and open the door or whatever. Got it. So with that, it sounds like with the larger filter, you don't have to worry about a drop in static pressure. Yeah. DC Motor fans, they, they're going to love that. They're going to be more efficient when you do that. Right. Okay. All right. Thanks, Ken. Thanks for your time. Thank you, man.
Thanks for watching this video. For more information on topics like this, we invite you to search for other products, services, companies, and people on the Rate It Green directory. Unlike other websites, searching is free, listing is free, becoming a member is free, and listing your green products is free.